Tim, welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Ulysse Nardin Marine Diver Black Sea Chronograph. This Ulysse Nardin 46 millimeters in rubber-wrapped stainless steel can be purchased on our website, watchyouwant.com, and if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, the largest case available in the marine continuity, and that's from the beginning to the present, the Marine Diver Chronograph Black Sea that I have right here is an imposing 46 millimeter sports watch with broad stance but a unique double hinged ceramic inset strap that allows it to fit easily on my six and a third inch 16 centimeter circumference wrist and I want to focus on just why that is because this watch has a couple of special features going for it before I take it off and highlight the works I want to focus on the height of it briefly because this is not a watch that's going to play nicely with a tighter dress cuff or really any long sleeve short of a full-blown winter coat now you can see the case actually splays outward and comes to a point at a cantilevered, knurled, and rubberized bezel. So this is one to wear for the good times, not necessarily finer times. It's from the unique all-black watch subset of the sports watch segment. So you might find that sartorially, in terms of dress and couture, it doesn't work with every ensemble anyway. So this watch is going to be one you wear when you're ready to get wet and wild. And when you are, you're going to find it's outstandingly comfortable. Now, aesthetically, Ulysse Norden keeps this a tight package, using a conforming rubber end piece to assure no gap between the end of the strap and the junction with the flank of the case. Normally, this makes a watch wear downright huge and almost impossible. With a 46 and a conforming end piece, this normally wouldn't fit my wrist. But because of this double hinged insert in the strap, it's an easy fit for any wrist, not just for six and a third like I have, but even to six and below, less than 15 centimeters, you can still wear this watch comfortably because you can see how, if necessary, this double hinge can even bow inward like so. Cut the strap to the length of your wrist, you're gonna have no problem with the fit. The security is outstanding. And because of the substance of this conforming end piece and the ceramic insert holding the watch secure, Ulysse Norden's able to rapidly taper off the thickness of the strap. So when it's on the wrist, when it reaches the point of the tightly bent and soft underside, it'll conform easily. Very supple, a high quality, natural vulcanized rubber. You have two degrees of articulation here, first in that insert, and then in the incredibly thin, almost ribbon-like bottom part of the strap. Now you can see that the clasp is up to the standard of the rest of the watch. For a long time, Ulysse Nordin has used titanium rather than steel, regardless of the actual material used for the clasp itself. Here, ceramic, in the past, steel. Titanium, for watchmaking purposes, has nearly the strength of steel, but it pairs down the mass, and it takes a beautiful, almost gunmetal gray finish to it. So reducing mass here, but retaining flexibility and strength, that's the objective of using titanium in conjunction with rubber and ceramic. It's a real material showcase here. The final element that helps this watch to wear as comfortably and securely as it does is the fact that Ulysse Nordin rubber wraps the entire case, the lugs, and the underside of the case back. Now, Ulysse Nordin is moving up market. They've made no bones about their intent to challenge traditional high horology players like Gerard Perigo. Now they're stable-mated caring, and Audemars Piguet for that matter. And while Audemars Piguet sort of started the rubber-wrapped watch trend with the rubber-clad offshore, Ulysse Nordin has one-upped them wrapping the entire watch, lugs, case, bezel, chronograph pushers, guards, and crown in rubber. So that rubber actually adheres to the skin quite well when it's on a smaller wrist, and it prevents play and movement. So it's a success from an ergonomic standpoint because it keeps the watch planted. It allows it to feel almost as supple as the strap itself on your wrist. And of course, from an aesthetic standpoint, it's a knockout. Now, Ulysse Nordin moving inboard highlights some of the elements of the diver with an inset sort of relieved rubber segment within the traditional relieved rubber diver bezel. It is a true dive watch. Unlike the more historical tribute-oriented marine series, this one's designed to be more of a tool watch in the vein of something like an Omega Seamaster, a Breitling Super Ocean, or a Rolex Submariner, and it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with that ilk. Rated to 200 meters of water resistance, this is a tough thing. It's not necessarily as wear-prone as the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Rubber Clads, because this model having come out in 2012, we now have a couple years of experience with these Ulysse Nordin rubber-wrapped divers, 
And in my experience, as we've brought them in for service, purchased them from collectors, I found that the fully rubber clad case and bezel has held up better than its contemporaries from Audemars Piguet in the offshore line. So this is something you can really wear with the kind of abandon that you associate with sports watches. So you have that option of timing off the minute's hand with the unidirectional rotating dive bezel. And I'm not capturing the texture of it. It is beautifully detailed to good effect with the iPhone, but you can see the high-res images on our website, watchyouwant.com. But you do have that option of timing with the bezel. And likewise, with the chronograph, now this is a dual purpose sort of everyday and sports watch. So if you did want to wear it every day, there's nothing in terms of durability or fragility that would pre prevent you from doing so. With automatic winding, a date window, a chronograph, and the unidirectional bezel, you've got all the toys you could ever want for practical and one might even say frivolous purposes. But what is undeniably useful about this watch is that by moving away from that marine chronometer aesthetic with the small seconds and date at 6 and the power reserve at 12 that we associate with the marine series, Ulysse Nordin is able to put more emphasis on the functions of the watch. Specifically, all of the applied indices, broad, fully loomed hands for excellent high light or low light legibility. It's got almost a little bit of a Panerai thing going on in as much as it's very easy to read it at any time of day. Now, more to the point, Ulysse Nordin wants to make this watch very much their own. So you see a playful use of color in the white, key lime, black, red, and blue elements, all of them splayed about the dial, nicely distributed from the chronograph seconds hand to the hands of the sub-registers, and of course, the hour counter scale at 6 o'clock. Skeletonization, both of the primary hands hours and minutes and the sub-register hands is a nice touch that relieves some of the visual mass of the dial and as a tool watch you can see that most of the dial is a nice flat black preserving the all black aesthetic but also reducing glare now from a practical standpoint single-sided AR coated so you're not going to scratch an exterior AR coat and disfigure the watch over time just another credit in favor of this watch's durability Inside, Ulysse Nordin Automatic Winding Modular Chronograph, Ulysse Nordin calls it a caliber 35, and it's based on the ETA 2892A2, a very tough movement, long used by Ulysse Nordin on everything from sports watches to complicated calibers. It features a modular vertical clutch chronograph, so you can actually stop and you can start the chronograph with none of the jerk, stagger, or jump associated with a lateral clutch, and if you so choose, you can just leave it running with no hazard to the movement. Has a nice 42-hour power reserve, automatic winding, superb durability. It's every inch the equal of this burly, substantial, and remarkably well-finished watch. In the hand, you really have to experience that rubber-clad feel to understand how close the tolerances are. This is not simply a big watch wearing a superhero suit. It is really shrink-wrapped and bonded firmly, completely, and convincingly to every facet of this case while preserving every facet of this case. There's no loss of definition in the case shape itself. You can even see the slightly concave form, the inward flow of the case flanks preserved underneath the rubber cladding. Very well done, beautifully made, and quite nuanced actually in person. There's a lot more going on in this dial than I was able to relate in full, but you can see it all, and if you so choose, you can take it home on our website, watchyouwant.com.